Welcome back to Let's Play Splinter Cell. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to start this episode off by giving a shout out to KOR, who says, I half expect the janky combat to lead to a Kobe Ashvili Maru scenario. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, if you needed that translated for you, uh,. He's referencing that colonel no one liked a few levels ago, and also, uh... Well, it's a Star Trek reference. There's a simulation that Starfleet cadets are required to go through called the Kobayashi Maru scenario, which is very specifically coded to react to the player's uh, reactions so that they can never win. It's explicitly a psychological test to see how each cadet takes on the no-win scenario. <laughs> Oh boy. K.O.R. also adds, The picture of Nicoladza makes him look like the lead singer of Little Big. And props to the person that installed that guttering. That stuff is solid. K.O.R. also added in a different comment, I wonder if using a body as a shield is actually coded in the game. In reality, most small arms fire will go straight through the hapless victim and whatever is behind them, so don't try that at home or while on holiday in fascist dictatorships. There was a tips section in the manual that noted that, uh, the enemy will not fire at you if you're using a human shield unless you point your gun at them at the same time. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. I didn't think I could get away with that. I just wanted to see. Yeah, I, I admit it. I looked it up because I couldn't figure out what the fuck I was meant to do there. It turns out there is an interact spot on the left uh, set of fans. You just need to find it. Let's see if I have enough time to do it from here. If I just run, will they hear me? I guess not. Ashvili Maru. Or... Oh, this is killing me! Oh, oh, oh! Slide open. Excuse me, all these giant fans! That? that guy doesn't even have a gun. Also, I'm basically invisible right now, so I don't think he can possibly see me, even though he's facing me. By the way, I'm told that, uh, contrary to popular belief, if you, uh... Oh, yeah, I should do this. Contrary to popular belief, if you look at someone through thermal glasses while they fart, you do not actually see a glowing cloud behind them, sadly. There is just not enough concentrated warmth for long enough. I'm not actually sure of the purpose of the thermal goggles. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. Am I going to have to face invisible dudes or something? That looks easy to break. What am I meant to be doing here? I guess going through there with this guy, man. Alright, it looks to me like the best strategy will be to wait until I know where the dude is. Find a way to knock him the fuck out, leave him in the dark. Rinse and repeat. Is it dark down there? Yeah, ish. Access the CIA central server. It's like the test of hackers in movies. Hacking the CIA. down the corridor.
God, man, really? Oh. Oh. Maybe I can drop on top of him? Knock him out that way? I'm currently clinging to the fence over the spot where that guy uh, keeps coming by. For the record, Justin. I was told recently that, uh, real-world uh, night vision goggles that have mo more than two lenses are like that because you can rotate different lenses into position. Sam doesn't do that, so I can only assume the third lens on this one is over his, like, third eye chakra, providing psychic information. I think I might have made that joke already. I know that's right, he stops right in front of the door. I think it was the GameCube that was the first console I ever saw that depicted people's pores. Is over there? Who are you? Well, that didn't work. God damn it, Sam. Oops. Is there a light switch here? No. Damn it. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, Jesus, don't oh shit. Fuck. I didn't realize how fast I was moving. the slow button. Save again. Optic cable. That's the actual term they use for it. Sure, sure, sure. Hmm. Oh, of course. It's bright. It's warm. It's a light. Sorry. What does this shirt say? Maintenance. I mean, it's super blurry, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to mean. That's an armored camera. I can't even see it here. Huh. It just makes that noise when I toggle between them, I guess. Oh, I see. I just need to go through the doorway. This is a... Oh. Well, I'm gonna try it anyway. That's not a door! I hate this. No! Oh. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. I'm right in front of the camera, but it can't see me because this spot of ground is way darker than the spots on one foot to the sides of me. I'm just gonna crawl forward. Forgot to slow down first, but that's okay. Somehow I made it. Hey man, if uh, somehow was good enough for Star Wars. Um, let's see here. Wait here. We have an intruder in the agency. What? <laughs> really? It's just a dude right in the fucking. There isn't. Oh, that's why he just fucking walks up there. Great. Come on, come on. 
Yoink! <coughs> Sam is just holding him in a headlock rather than uh, holding a gun to his head. I think somebody's stepping on you. Data stick! From Sharon Wentworth to Donald Wentworth. From uh, Ascent, October 27th, 2004, 832. Subject re, Virginia is okay. Darling, I don't know how you can't be frightened. Let's at least wait until next week, until we know that nothing else is going to happen. I know this will make you mad, but you being with the agency just makes me more worried. It makes me worry that the kids will be a better target for the terrorists. DJ asked me this morning if the terrorists knew his Auntie Virginia is a police officer. I don't know. I can't think straight. Why haven't you called me yet? Call soon. Sharon. Man, call your goddamn wife. Copy that. You're lucky I wasn't actually a terrorist. Repeat last transmission. Just lead you down here under the stairs. Nice and dark. Nighty night, Donnie. John Q. Doe? Like they're combining John Doe with John Q. Public? Oh. I didn't even see the model plans. I'm amazed they can't see me up here. Just creeping across the window. Oh, let's not uh, just walk off the fucking railing. There really should be a railing there, actually. Osha is going to be pissed about that. Another long corridor with mostly pools of light and a camera at the end. But there are shadows and a door. So I'm going to try h hiding in here. I don't have anything equipped. Let's get the, uh, the cable out. You know, there's a laptop, it'll be good for, uh, intel. Oh, it's nice and dark in here. Oh, the laptop is totally on for some reason. Well, I don't need to remember that guy's password, so it's all the best. Now to spit on his desk and read his emails. What is this, a conference room? Interact Sticky Shocker. Interact ring airfoil round. And a medkit. Huh. What the fuck is this? Oh. It's under the SC 20K category. Sticky Shocker, a non-lethal high-voltage weapon for incapacitating enemies. How to use me? Select the Sticky Shocker from your quick inventory. Press the use slash equip key to equip Sam. Press alternate fire to, la to fire the Sticky Shocker with a launcher. So is this like the underslung thing on a gun? Is that what the launcher is? Ring airfoil round a high-impact zero penetration round to knock out opponents. Oh! Oh, that's a bullet! How to use me. Select the ring airfoil round for your quick inventory. Press the use equip key to equip Sam. Press the equip alternate fire to fire the ring airfoil round with the launcher. Uh, can it, will it let me do that if I don't have the thing? Or is it just something else and I, that's not what I think it is? It will not let me equip it. I don't know why I'm surprised by that. Oh, where's that door go? Yeah, that's what I thought that would do. I 
can't switch to uh, thermal vision here, so yes, it is fixed. It is only on uh, night vision mode that I can use this camera. Huh, those security monitors are actually animated. I mean, I wouldn't imagine you can actually see, like, a live view of the level through them, but... Wait! This isn't the only way to go, is it? I don't think I want to go out there. It looks like the front fucking entrance. I'm going to try going the other way with the, uh, the horrible corridor, but I might be, uh... I really hope I don't have to go that way. Take a fucking detour. It's water in pipes, Justin. There's no one peeing down here this time. Oh, it does sound like it's sloshing. Maybe one of them is leaking somewhere. Like a lot. Into the dark! Okay, okay, I can fix this. I really don't have time to use the uh, the cable, but I can use the disposable pick to just open it. So I'm going to go ahead and quick save, which silenced the camera uh, amusingly. Uh oh! It thought it saw me, but it was wrong. Feet don't fail me now. Oh! That's worse. I don't know why I don't, I'm surprised by this. It's just the other end of that hallway. Why did you armor the camera? I can't shoot it anyway! Oh, right, because it's a CI fucking A. That's why. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I'm stuck in the level geometry. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Why is Sputnik here? Seriously, that looks like Sputnik, the first satellite. Ah! And we're running! You're gonna have to take my word for it, but I'm really acting in your best interest. Okay, like a dozen guys? Okay, maybe not. Maybe like seven guys just came out of somewhere when uh, that guy alerted the uh, alarm, so... It also seems like he could just do that, rather than having to run to the button there on the wall. Oh boy, how was the last time I quick saved? Oh, that's not too bad at all. Okay, maybe the other end of the hallway then, after all. I just gotta time it better. Where the fuck am I even meaning to go, anyway? Front gate, maintenance area, main hall. So that'd be this. This would be the main hall. Elevator access... Wait. Elevator access. Am I just at the end of the, ha the, build the hallway I need to be at now? No, 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 don't do that. Those are metal detectors. I will never get through that. Maybe I can deactivate them in that room there? I will wait until I can see that guy in the security room again, because he does go behind that wall for a fairly long time. I just want to make sure I have the timing right. Because he does... Because when he's not there, he does stare directly out the window, and that's a problem for me. Uh, F5. That might have been a mistake. Oh! Oh! I don't have a gun on me! 
I just walked right through the metal detector. Huh. I mean, I am wearing night vision goggles, carrying a PDA, a radio, and this stuff, so, uh... I don't think... Are you think... going to be staying at the hospital? It was on the you phone. when she wakes up. Listen, thanks for coming in. I know the last thing you want to be doing at a time like this is answering questions. We couldn't assume it was a coincidence. Thanks for your understanding. Let me know if there's anything we can do. Well, it's really dark on the side of the room. Seriously, does the CIA not pay their bills or something? Oh, look at those cute low poly planes up there. The stealth bomber is just a triangle. I think that one right there closest to me is the SR-71, which is one of the only planes I remember the number of, because it's the thing they based the Blackbird from X-Men on. Oh, no, I can't go that way. Well, I can look. Is that really the door I need to get through? The man's right fucking next to it. Talk about your mission's impossible. Wish I had a can or something. Of course there's no garbage lying around here. Ah, oh, but there's so much intel I'm not getting. If I hug this wall, can I sneak up and knock that guy out? Direct object. Control, I need to run a coke stop. Is there anybody who can watch my post for a few? Bizarre. What the ah, why does he do that? When Sam... Oh, yes, there is a can sitting on that bench. I see it now. When Sam uh, steps up onto something, he automatically goes out of uh, crouch mode. I'm taking a code 7. Is there somebody available who can cover my patrol? That's not right at all. I think somebody's stepping on you. What? Let's just move you out of the light. I guess that worked out. It wasn't the way I hoped it would, but... Perfect. Behind a central thing. Nice and dark. You're gonna have a nice nap right here. I don't know where that other guy went, though. Oh, this is... Yes, of course this is that room I saw earlier. That's the planes on the ceiling. Duh. All right. Actually, I should probably manually save since it's the end of the session. Infiltration! Oh. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Splinter Cell, when we go through that elevator, see what's on the other side, and try to make our way to the server room so we can find out which one of the CIA's many, many operatives is secretly working for the other guys. Wish me luck, Burning Dog fans, and have yourselves a great day until then. Later!